Welcome. I got to tell you something, guys. Here come the Tigers. Not quite, but I can't quit this team. <laughs> I told you. I, I can't quit them. So long as they are five, five and a half. Why not? They got a shot. They've got, now they fall to double digits. Hold on now. Twins are in action currently against the Mariners. So we could say five and a half. It's accurate. And depending on the Twins' result, look, here's the thing. They've come out of the break winning five of seven. The Mariners are up. Okay. We're five out technically if things stopped right now. The, the point is you can't ask, and I know what we all want. We all want to see the team just roll out, win seven in a row. You know, do what the Reds did. It's not in the cards. What you need to do is exactly what they're doing. You win series. You take two out of three against Seattle. You take three out of four against the Royals. Do I wish they had completed the comeback, got the sweep? Of course. But here's my point. But you're also, before you get to your point, yeah. you're winning series against bad teams. I know. And that's the key is, is not to let these, like what happened with the A's the last time they were here for the 4th of July happen to you again. Correct. So here's, here's what I'd like to propose. We have talked about the on again, off again, but currently on again pennant chase. We're sitting here, and it's July 20th. We're still able, in good conscience, to talk about this baseball team. They're five and a half out, could be five out by the time we're off the air. I understand they are not very good. I understand it's a bad division. But they're five out. I don't think I'm lying to the audience saying it's okay to have a little fun. So now let me do this. Let's raise the stakes a little bit. They've come out of the gate. In a seven-game stretch, they've gone five and two. Mm -hmm. they've, they've, they've hit the ground running in the second half. Is it fair for me to say the believability of this start of the second half, the believability of them being a fringy, hanging-around team is all on the next 10 games. They're at home for three against the Padres this weekend, mm -hmm. a makeup game against San Francisco, and three against the Angels. Mm -hmm. Then it is... Three in Miami. Ten games. Where you got to go six and four, seven and three. You got to play good baseball. Because, again, you're not going to make up a lot of ground. Twins have gotten hot. But, Rico, if they play well in this ten games, and they're five games under 500, not ten or nine, five, mm -hmm. I think it's okay then to go, okay, it's August 1st, and I'm allowed to continue enjoying this. I would say the caveat for me, I'm going to enjoy this. Mike, we are on the San Diego. We're on to the pods. We are on to the pods race. That's it. Because when you start going too far, that's when you get tripped up. With I this know. team, literally series by series. I know. Maybe you could throw that one game for the Giants in there as well. Don't look too far. No, it's just 10 games. But yeah, I look when they came out, I'm like, you know what? You got the Mariners, and you got the Royals. You can beat these teams, and they, they took did. both series. Okay, now you got the Padres. Let me ask the people. I, I, and again, it's just where we're starting. We got some Lions stuff to cover before six. Got a lot of college football tomorrow. Um, are you guys hip to this? Like, are you into this, or are we just the two old Muppet guys in the opera? I mean, you could be five games out of first by the time <laughs> we're off the air tonight. No, you know what this is. This kind of goes back to what we talked about yesterday. For some people, you want to believe. Yeah. But then you feel, man, this team's going to fall apart, and now I'm going to sit there with egg on my face. Nah. But you're watching the scores. You're watching the games. You're going to the games. You're, the interest is there because normally at this time, we're talking Lions. We don't have to because this team, once again, once you set aside the point, and this is what I tried to hit back in May, probably not going to win a World Series, but they can win this division. Winning the division gets you into the playoffs. You'll see what happens, but it means that games in August and September could be meaningful. But in order to do that, you have to keep winning, and they have. They've done just enough to hover around that five-game mark. That keeps me interested. I think people are, Mike. They are afraid to say it because they feel like the, at any moment, this is a house of cards, and it'll all come falling down, and then they'll be sitting there saying, I can't believe those two guys suck me in. 
I, I'm only at 248 539 97 97. I'm only saying it because think about this. Let's put the shoe on the other foot. If I came on the air and I browbeat you and I were super dismissive and I was a bad guy about it, I go, oh, you morons. You're five out. You're never going to get it done. That would be perceived as negative. It would be perceived as unfair. It would be perceived as I'm a richer. Well, then tell me why it's when I'm the opposite about it and I'm having a good time with it and I'm finding ways to just say, hey, just keep pedaling the bike. Why is that considered unrealistic? It's not unrealistic. But, you know, in baseball, man, certain things you don't do, you don't say. And right now they're kind of winning, but you don't want to draw attention to it because you feel like it's how everybody got mad at David because David said it was going to be a quick game today. And David had to run out David the building last said, night. well, you two don't even need to go in. And I'm like, David, what do you want, drugs? <laughs> like, why, why would you say that? Yeah, or did when, you enjoy that? <laughs> right. Or when somebody's throwing a no-hitter, you don't mention the words no-hitter. You just kind of right. – you. and I think that's where a lot of Tigers fans are right now. They're with us. They see it. They just don't want to say anything for fear something goes wrong. But you know what, guys? It's okay. It's okay because they have brought you more entertainment – and they have in a long time. 248 539 9797. It's okay to say you're riding with this team. David, go ahead. I mean, you always like to, you know, bleep over everything. I, is it wrong? I mean, as I'm saying it, the sun is coming out, doves are flying through the sky. We, we could be five out here. I think the next 10 games tell you whether it's okay to believe or not. Because let's be fair. The next 10 games, we're going to go through the trade deadline. The next 10 games, you're either going to end up five, six games under 500, or you're going to play your way out of it. The idea is you're going to have to either make up ground or get past. You're not just going to hang here forever and be five out and continue. Like, this team has started really well to open the second half. Is it wrong to say, look, I'm having a good time with it. I know they'll probably not get this done, but wh why not? Like, I want to look up when is the last time they were five games out on July 20th in the standings. And I'm oh, actively, oh my. Well, I'm actively getting that for you, so just sit tight. I'll have it. Go ahead. Talk to Here's me. Here's what I'll say, um, and the city of Detroit will enjoy this. I'm going to give everyone in this town permission to believe. The series that they have coming up. David, here's David patting you on the head saying that's cute. Before they hit the Tampa series on August 4th with the series with Pittsburgh, Miami, the Angels, and the Padres with San Francisco in between there, you have a shot to make up ground. You have a shot. Well, everything changes when the Angels noise. come to town. We're just going to hold a tiny hostage. He's not getting <laughs> No, you can't get on the plane. You got to stay here. So I am giving Detroiters permission to believe you got a month. Enjoy. No, no we might don't. benevolent we, of you. All right, hey, two weeks. And listen, let me just make the comparison. Do you know what the Tigers' record was on this date last year? Anybody want to venture a guess just for fun? No, we were playing that can they hit 69. Played so. 92 games. Let's just say 30 and... Six. No, no, 37 no, no. and 55. Okay. Okay? Now, I'm not telling you that you, you've you turned into the Cincinnati Reds. But you know what? You're tangibly better. And you're in the mix. That's all. You're just, you're in it. Because here's the thing. In theory, and I know, we're on to the Padres. If you, <laughs> if you can stay focused and this team can hover around this five-game mark, it's it's jumping the gun a little bit, Mike, but it's the middle of August that will let you know what you have. Because you know, that's that, when you got two right. games. You got a series with the uh, two series with the Twins and the Guardians. So last year at this time, how many games out of first for you? Just as a comparative, for people who want to laugh and go, "Oh my God, are you you idiots are really doing this?" How many games out were you last year today? Ten and games. And a half. Twelve. How many games out were you the year prior, 2021, on this date? Let's go with 11. I'll go with eight. 13 and a half. Oh, geez. We'll skip 2020 because COVID. COVID. Uh, 2000, <laughs> 2020, 
2019. How many games out on today's date were you? Let me just go ahead and help you. 15. 30. 30. Wow. So pardon me that while none of us are walking around lurched over and it's lasted six hours, we're excited that it's five and a half and could be five by the time we're off the air. I gave her permission to believe. Go ahead. Right, but David, I'm making a point. First time in five years, you're even this close. And by the way, the division is that bad. Yeah. I don't think Minnesota all of a sudden became a good team. No, and the longer this thing keeps going, it stops being something cute and something fun. Where you all of a sudden are like, whoa, whoa, whoa. They could do this. Like to me, August is the make or break. But right now, one series out of do we, what you need to do. We are on to the Padres. You keep taking a series, you keep competitive, you stay in striking distance, and then you'll get your chance with the Twins and the Guardians, to really make up some ground. And by the way, I I found it. They were 13 and a half out in 18. So now 2017, six games out on this date today, 43 and 51. They were six games out. That was still good, Mickey. My point is it's been, what, six years now. Yeah. So why not? Six years with this find-a-way-to-win type of group. I mean, this this is the... Almost the baseball equivalent of going to work, where yeah, you get you kind of look at this team and it ain't pretty. No, but they, they get the job. Done. And the reality is, we only need them to get to where the Lions start playing preseason games. But look, enjoy the ride. Mid August, I would like to know. And guys, if you hate it, you can tell me that too. Two four eight five three nine ninety seven ninety seven. We'll take some calls, get some ticket text. Lions made a trade. I happen to like it. I know Rico does as well. We'll go through that. And C.J. Gardner-Johnson says what I've been telling you for years. We'll get to that in the 5 o'clock hour as well. 97.1.